this is Crystal with Crystal's Diversity Creations. So I'm going to be doing a unicorn um, hooded towel with the matching uh, wash mitt. So let's go. So what I have on the machine is actually the um, hand towel. So it's a pink hand towel. And then I have the matching um, washcloth and the matching towel. So I'm going to go ahead and get the design loaded up and we'll start stitching it out. Okay, so this is the design right here. Try to bring you closer. So that's the design. And um, I'm using a 8 uh, by 9 a Mighty Hoop. So I'm not going to make it much bigger because it has to fit just let me see just below here down so this is as much space as i have um to put this design so we're going to go ahead and add our glitter for the unicorn top there. Put that right there. And we just have to make sure that it's covering the uh, thread. The tack down stitch. So we're just going to go ahead and cut it on here like this because it's just easier. Of course, make sure you're not cutting the tie. That's pretty good. Of course, if you can get closer, that's best. If you're comfortable. If not, don't worry about it. And then I got that pin in there. I wish I could get it out, but I'm gonna leave it there because it's not gonna touch it. So we're gonna go back over to the machine. So we got it on. We're gonna get our next uh, tack down. And so that's going to be the um, center flower. I'm just going to pause that there so we can put it on there. I'm going to um, get that cover, that cover. So we we'll use that piece. Same thing. Just make sure that it's covering it. Just you know, hold it till it catches. Of course, make sure your hands are back. process. Okay, back on the machine. Okay, so we're going to do the next um, flower. 
I believe that's the next one. And what color we gonna make that one? for that save us at least one turn from not having to go off in the one let's do next to other flower what color is that flower gonna be um I think I have some purple so I located a piece of purple which is what I wanted so here we're using HTV. You just separate it and then you're ready to use it on your embroidery. Go ahead and put that right there. And it's going to have the satin stitch, so it doesn't have to be perfect. Of course, you want it close. But it ain't going to be ultra close. Just close. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to do the hair. So I'll get my black ready. This one, what I'm going to do is just get this out of the way because once I can get the other one cut, it's easier. So it's just going to give me the black one over here. Then I can cut them at the same time. Okay. How about I actually need this piece? So let me just cut enough to be able to get it over here. Okay. 
then when I take it off, I can cut both black pieces at the same time. So we're gonna take this off and go on and cut this. This is the last of our um, appliques. Cause it's just easier when you got all of these little curves to have it on the um, after machine. So I don't know if I showed you all um, how I put this on here. I just kind of feed the towel over the bar in the back, right? And then line up these. Before I push it all the way in, I make sure that I got everything out of the way in here. Make sure you hit a click. Run your hand underneath just to make sure that nothing is stuck. Lay out all your little pieces if you can so that nothing gets caught. Then we're ready to go. So it's going to hair. to move up to on the little bang. Okay, so now we're doing the unicorn. Let me get So now that's going to 
through the ears and we have them going into the blue. Next is the eyelashes. And I thought about doing the, um, what do you call it, the pretty blue, but I feel like the purple shows up better on the pink towel. So, that's why I just went with that. Okay. So, all together, this takes 32 minutes to stitch out. So there you have it. And it was like two stitches I needed to cut. That one and that one. And that's it. So we'll go ahead and get that unhooked. And then um, next up is to make this into a hood and to go ahead and attach it um, to the town. So, and I don't know if I mentioned that this is water soluble and this is tear away. So here we're just cleaning up the um, stabilizer, both from the back and from the front. hand towel that's been embroidered and it's ready to be applied to the towel so take your towel fold it in half like this and what you want to do is you're going to measure this should be right around 16 so you're gonna come down eight inches, which is right along there. So this is what I'll do. I'll just make sure my ends are together. Okay. So I'm gonna come down to the eight and pin. Make sure that they're even. Come over. Again, mark at the eight. Pin at the eight, I should say. Okay. Right here at the eight. And 
then we'll just do one final one over here at the uh, eight. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to stitch straight across here on the machine. I'm going to just increase the stitch to um, three. Come on forward, and I'm just trying to come straight into this pin. So I'm just going straight, move my pin. And you can put more pins if you need to. So now we have a stitch right here, which again is eight inches, which is basically the halfway mark like this, right? So you take and you basically flip it upside down like so, right? Same stitch right there. And now you're just gonna bring this outside and pull it down. And once you do that, you now have your hood. And you just wanna make sure you get your little point out and everything, but that creates the hood for the towel. And in this method, your stitches are now enclosed and it's a completely sealed hood, which I love. So now what you're gonna do is you're going to go ahead and pin this all the way around so that you can stitch it closed. So I'm going to speed that up while we do that. Okay, so now, as you can see, it's all pinned. So we're just going to go ahead and we'll start from this side, actually, because this is the side we're most concerned that we don't see. So if I had a stitch from this side, I might not have it nicely on the side that's actually gonna sh show. So we're gonna go ahead and get this up under here, like so. And you want it to be close to the edge. So I'm gonna actually line it up with right here to my edge. And I'm going to get that pin out the way, drop my needle. Now I want it over somewhere actually, once I've seen how, put it right, right there is good. Now I'm following this against the edge. So I'm gonna drop that needle and drop the presser foot, get the stitching. And I'm gonna do a little back stitch here successfully completed your hood okay so you can kind of just move your hood out of the way for a moment and you're going to take your towel it'd be helpful if you had more space but 
Um, so this is the back of the towel, right? You want to flip it so you're on the right side of the towel, the front of the towel. It's facing you. Fold it in half. Right? Like this. And again, your tag is down the bottom of where we're working. So we're working up here. I'm going to um, mark where the center is of the towel. So just put a pin in there so you know that that's the center of the towel. Mark that. Okay. Now you're going to open this towel back up. And back some. And now you're going to um, go ahead and pin your hood. And you're going to pin your hood upside down. So remember, this is the right side of the towel. And this is the bottom of the hood. And so what you're going to do, you're not going to put it right up to the edge. We know this is the center, so we're going to put the center just about right there, like a half an inch down, right? So, we get it right there, line it up. I'm just going to use this as my guide right here. So, line it up like that. And if you want, you can actually cut this uh, ribbing off, but I'm just going to leave it. So you can put that in there like that. And then you're just going to pin this down. And we're going to take it to the machine. And what's going to happen is this is going to be a small stitch. And you know what? We will go ahead and cut a small piece it'll just make it less to cut to um it'll just make it less that we have to actually stitch through so we'll just cut it just make it easier when you're stitching it Get it laid flat. Make sure it makes sense. If it looks a little bit off, you see I'm cutting this in my hand because I don't want to cut the other towel. Okay, that's good enough. So back to where we were. We're going to put this right here, up against there, pin it, work out one way, one side, then the other. what it looks like it's pinned now and again this is the right side of the towel and the back of the hood so we're going to go ahead and get it on the machine i'm going to go ahead and leave it on the three i think that should be fine and i'm trying to stitch close so um i'm gonna uh drop my needle drop my foot Stitch, back stitch, and I'm actually do that twice because I don't want them to be playing with it, and next thing you know, it'll come off. <laughs> Thank you. 
and back stitch. Back stitch again. Okay. So now our hood is attached. We just want to make sure we look at the back so that we know that that's, you know, no nothing is caught up in the back. And now what we're going to do is to close it up. All we do is just fold this up and that's it. And you'll close it up and that encases that stitch and gives you that nice clean finish look so we'll just go right here making sure that you know it's closed up and that the back is smooth so you want to make sure that the back is flat so that when we pin it up here it's closed like it's um lying flat so you can pin it however you need to whether you want to do straight stitches or straight pins this way or across if you can manage that. Just kind of pull this up so you know you're getting to the bottom, to the flatness of it all. So there you go. We're going to stitch straight across there. But before we do, we want to make sure that our back looks okay. And it does. So we're ready to go ahead and stitch that down. And then that's basically the final step. Down flat. Make sure you keep all of this over that way. So we just want to drop the needle right about there let me see this is sure this is thick right there let me get that okay now be careful coming over the hump because it is so thick stitching this I kind of got it pulling it apart a little bit so that I can ensure that it's um, not catching it okay so we're coming down to the wire back stitch back stitch see what we got so you see that this is nicely encased right just double check that everything is sealed look at the back make sure that it's sealed you can go ahead and trim those threads that you're going to have over there and that is basically it so now we're going to do the bath mitt okay so i just have a tear away stabilizer um, hooped in here. There's nothing else in here right now. This um, can be made from a washcloth. This was actually a hand towel because that's what I had on hand. So this is this was a hand towel. But it's two pieces like this. And basically the pattern 
is going to print it out into a mitt. And so this is how the finished mitt looks. So you can see it's really not as big as this. It can be done out of a washcloth. Okay, so this is what it looks like on the screen. Um, you can see it just looks like a mitt. And I wanted to tell you how long the piece of elastic was that I cut. Okay. So, it's, I just measured it off the other piece. So, it's just about just five and mm, three quarters. Do five and a half, five and three quarters, whichever you choose to do. I just tried to make it the same as the prior piece that I had cut. Okay. So, I'm not going to be stopping. I'm just going to keep on going through because we did the um, applique, same as it is on the towel. We'll just be swapping that out. And um, I'll really just be stopping when we're working with the actual um, setting up of the wash um, mitt itself. Okay. So it starts with a tack down stitch. And this is was a placement tip, um, stitch actually because it was not for tacking anything down. So this is when we put our um, first piece down. And so this is actually going to be the um, inside. So this is the right side of the mitt that's going in. And then when the other side goes over it, you'll be turning it inside out. So... You want your tag facing down, right side up. It's going to go ahead and this will be your embroidery and everything on this right side. So it gets placed in like that. The other right side sandwiches down and then it turns inside out. So um, I'm going to put a little bit, just a little bit of basting spray. on here just a little bit i'm just spraying it off camera because i don't want to spray by the machine so just wanna oh i didn't even get in there okay So we want to make sure that our stitching, this mitt, is actually above the stitching line. So let me make sure you can see the stitching line. You see the red stitching line in there, right here? So we're just making sure that we're placing it above that stitching line, like that so that when it closes it off, we don't have to unseal it, okay? And then I just pressed it down a little bit. So that's that. And we'll go ahead and let it close it in. soluble put that over top of it um, because we'll be needing that throughout and just gonna go ahead and start 
doing our embroidery and I'm just going to do a time lapse. other piece down. And this came out so pretty. Okay, so we're gonna Okay. So what I'm doing now is I'm gonna just go ahead and move this. We don't need this here anymore. Right? We're done embroidering. So we don't need that. And I'll get that cleaned off when I get it out of the hoop. But for now, I just need the other piece. And um, I want to make sure that this one is the right side, I mean, the wrong side out. So that I have right sides together, right? And I also need to get my elastic. I almost forgot about that. So I want to make sure that these bottoms are lined up right there. Where's my little piece of elastic? I want to um, just grab a pin. And I want it inside here so that when it's flipped inside out, this will actually be on the um, outside. So I just want to make sure it's just going to keep this in place. And that's fine right there. And again, just lining up those. Making sure that it's flat. Okay. Now I will do two stitches around. And this is going to put the front and back of the mitt together. And we'll just let it go all the way till it's ready to start embroidering. Because I think it did this three times. If I'm not mistaken, it was three times. So now we can take it off of the machine and this is what it's looking like it just looks like I'm gonna pull you back a little bit finished wash mitt inside the um, hoop so we're gonna go ahead and um, just take it out of the hoop This is only because we have two pieces in there. And I can unhook it. 
Okay, yeah. So, of course, you need to um, take off the excess. Cutting carefully around here. That's why they gave you the three layers of um, stitches. Just carefully cut around. Don't go right up on the stitches. You leave a little bit of space. And see, this is why our elastic wouldn't be out here because we'd been cutting it off. So now you have the mitt like this. You're going to just turn it inside out. All the way. Run your fingers so, you know, you got a straight right there. Um, you could probably make sure that your stitch here is pink, but it doesn't matter. So watch cloth. Um, and then just kind of pull those out. And there you have it. And there's your elastic so it can hang up or whatever it's gonna, however it's gonna be contained. And you kind of cut these few little threads like that. And there it is. How cute is that? That is so cute. So you have that. And then you have the um, the matching hooded towel. That, you know, goes with it. So, let's talk about how you fold this. I just love that. When you're ready to fold it, you're going to start by folding it up like a third the rest of the way. And that should take you to the top. So you're just going to, you got it a third of the way right here. You're just going to go ahead and fold it up like that. And so, I mean, there's so many ways to fold it because you can actually fold it where it's like a little um, longer in this part. But this is one of the ways. And then what you do, you're rolling this in like this to the rest on there. And then you're going to do the same thing. On this side, just roll it up, and then you're going to come in from both sides, and then you bring your hood down, and you make it, you push the back in a little bit so that it comes down, stands like that, right? So you got it standing like that. Then you take your ribbon and you just get your ribbon, wrap it around, get your ribbon in Got your little bow, right? 
Then what I would do with mine is either put it like right here to the side and then I'm going to use my little um, tagger and just kind of put it in there like this and probably over here. If you don't have a tagger, you can easily like somehow get it stuck to this ribbon. Um, so that it just looks like a cute little set with your mitt, with your wash mitt. So that's how I would um, present it. And I would just somehow get these little pieces, same thing. I would just use this to kind of pull that back a little bit on either side. And if I didn't have that, I would just kind of leave it just like that. And I think it would be perfectly fine. It's fine on that side. But how cute is that? I think that is just so adorable for a little girl um, to receive. So there you have it. That is our um, hooded towel and mitt. So, so here we made the um, hooded towel and the wash mitt. I hope you found this video helpful. Thanks as always for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Share with a friend. Take care. Thanks again for watching.